Hello and welcome back to Major 3, a shot of the Santa Monica Pier. I lived in Santa Monica for three years. I went there once because I don't go outside much. How you doing, Joe? <laughs> okay. Thank you for that little fact. I'm doing really well. Uh, we, uh, you know, it's Major time. So, you know, that energy is always a little bit different for us. Uh, players as well. And, and we have a banger here. Uh, Atlanta Phase Toronto Ultra. Well, it's a repeat from our major two finals in Atlanta phase. Uh, they got revenge on their mind. Yeah, I think we've all been waiting for this one, and we're hoping for a doozy. It's sometimes I know I get so hyped for a match, and it lets me down. This one isn't going to. It's going to be incredible. I got the syrup ordered in case they make a run this weekend. I'm excited to see how it goes, but let's get into it. We're almost ready to start the match, but quickly, let's meet our squads. Let's kick it off with the reigning champs, Toronto Ultra. Boy, oh boy, what a slaughter that was. Cami on a bit of a tear now. Who won it? Ah, dang. Ultra are looking fine. The battle for the North is already off to a great start. Strong start from Toronto. It's going to be a knockdown Toronto have just taken the major. They truly are ultra and Who won it? Joe, they've been on top. They, they were almost perfect throughout stage three, but what's it like being, I guess, the team on the other side? Like, you're playing against the squad that wants revenge. Oh, well, I mean, you know, you know that the target is on your back. They're going to be coming out with a different energy. Um, it, you're just going to have to stay with your game, right? As you said, they were almost perfect throughout stage three. They have done what they needed to do. They expanded their map pool a little bit, which you're going to see in this maps and mode set, uh, which is very much needed. Uh, but these guys, you can see they're locking in. They're calming themselves down. We saw bands go into that mode throughout Major 2, and they're just trying to refine that focus. Yeah, it seems like confidence is at an all-time high. Like, they're not dropping maps or anything. I'm just curious what happens if somebody comes and hits them in the face. If they have a battle here, how will it go down? I can't wait to see it. And the team out seeking revenge from that grand final loss. It is Atlanta phase. Let's meet the squad. The game has turned on his head. Run! Run! Get onto the point! Sammy finds himself two more. Oh, baby! Absolutely slate. What a magnificent comeback from Atlanta. A disappointing result for FaZe last time they matched up. Joe, what do you think might be different this time around? Well, I think they had a... It had something to look to, right? I feel like for Atlanta FaZe the last couple of years, they've been sort of the ones setting the bar. And I know they haven't won everything. They didn't win every home series last year, but they were always still the favorite in everyone's mind. And I think even in their own mind, they probably felt like they threw some away. I think Major 2 was a little different. I think Toronto Ultra, you know, they just stamp on it right away. And then you saw throughout Stage 3, they're looking at Toronto Ultra as the better team right now. So. I think that is a huge motivation for them of what do we need to do to get back to that level? They haven't always had that. And now looking at these maps and modes, this is what I was talking about. You're only seeing one map, which is a repeat from the grand final of Major 2. And that is that first one, Garrison Hardpoint. Atlanta FaZe was able to win that one. Checkmate, Search, and Destroy. We know that Atlanta FaZe has really been working on it. Been one of their go-tos. Uh, control, a, a lot of rate control for Toronto Ultra at Major 2. We're going to that garrison. Uh, but it should be, a, should be a really good match. At least we hope so. Well, you look through winner's bracket final two, like all 11 maps, right? And it's just the one? Or is that just, just one, from the final? Just, no, just garrison. Yeah, that, yeah, I think even from the winner's final as well. Yeah. And that's kind of crazy when you think about it. Like, I know there's a lot of maps and modes for Call of Duty, but I guess I kind of figured when you play that many, right, over that stretch, like there's going to be some similarities. But the fact that it's just one map is kind of insane to me. But that's what we're actually going to start off with. That Garrison hard point to get us rolling. The rematch that many have been waiting for. Can Ultra remain on top? Or will FaZe knock him into the loser's bracket like they did back at Stage 2? A set a date maybe later on in the tournament. We're going to start things off with Insight. And Joe, he has been unbelievable. Oh, I mean, he... Yeah, uh, I mean, they all have throughout stage three, but Insight has been a top AR these last couple of stages in every single game mode. He has set a standard for himself, and he is trying to keep that standard, uh, not only fighting for Rookie of the Year, but maybe even MVP if he keeps this up. 
how impressive would that be? Like, <laughs> just considering, you know, the, the time. Would it be bolts? absolutely yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah. But Cammy, I mean, he's going to be a guy we've got to really keep an eye on throughout this. I know they've all had their moments, but Cammy has been truly special. It just seems like he's hitting a new level constantly. But speaking of new levels, Sep already off to a 3 0 start. Yeah, this is going to allow Atlanta Phase to get this time because look at all the purple arrows. They kind of have to focus on this side of the map. They want this rotation to be theirs on that second hill. A very good job by Kleenex. He rotates over with his teammates. You're going to have some good time here if you're Atlanta Phase. And then they're going to go. They're going to fight for mid map control. Kleenex, simp with three. Kleenex responds with three of his own. And this is what we saw. It was haymaker after haymaker from the submachine guns in our major two final. Yeah, give me more of that. <laughs> blow for blow. But we'll go to Insights POV. See, set up at radar. Just trying to hold any push through top green. Right over to Simps POV and Kleenex. Getting the better of that SMG battle. Next up, BZ. Not a fun gunfight. Ultra at least able to hold on early as they'll look to get a lead change. And Delium still looking for his first kill. Slow start for Bantz who go in that grand final. What was he? Plus 41 over the course of the eight maps? Yeah, plus 41 uh, just led the way. It was an absolute monster. I mean, we talked about it a, a ton, just how he really found his form uh, in the confidence versus Atlanta phase. But Toronto Ultra, we've talked about how they've, you know, just been so darn good with their teamwork, their fundamentals. There's another example of it. You know, they lose a lot of time. They retake map control, though. They make sure they have the rotation over the second hill. Atlanta phase do fight for some scrap time. This opens something up for... Uh, Toronto Ultra, you're going to see you only have one player on rotation right now. That's Zip. The other two players are top green. So a lot of the main fight right now is towards the middle of the map. And who's winning it? All of Toronto Ultra. And there's that flip. Atlanta Faze a little greedy going for that scrap time. A little too greedy. It bites him. Ultra. They get in. Now Cammy, he's got the cross. He'll be able to stagger this push. Can he get away with two? I thought the movement was on point, but Zip. Up to the snap. Speaking of snaps, there's Bance. Four in a row now. One and four start quickly to six and five. As he flips the switch over the last 30 seconds. And now you've got a chance to, what, go up 50, 60 points here. Brilliant stuff from Ultra. And they just recognize the situation. Okay, there, there's one player at the old hill. We, can, we basically have a three on three. Three v four on the other side of the hill. Uh, towards that third. They, they recognize it. They push it. They win the gunfights cleanly. They get all this time, and as you said, now going to be a 50-point lead. But they're going to get the rest of it. Kleenex, he has not slowed down up to 12-5. and five. On the opposite side, Selium, not the best start. Same with BZ. but they get set up now for this fourth hill. Now, BZ, he's flying right out for that trade. Ultra in control as of now on this map one, looking to do what they did at the last major. Make a run, get a win. We'll see if the boys can do it, but I want to hear the comms. Let's go to an Astro listening with Toronto Ultra. Okay, yeah, time. Push okay, in time. Mid tank somewhere. Mid tank's yeah. laying down. Uh, underground, 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 underground. Nice, nice, nice. I was gonna, gonna be top ring. Yeah, he's beach on time camp. Just kill Hawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kill Hawk. Free, free, free. Yeah, okay, I was gonna be top ring. Okay, let's go. He's cross gold. He's cross gold. Cross gold. They got a trophy top ring. They got a trophy top ring. They got absolute beach. They got absolute beach. One's in gold. Gold? Yeah, yeah. I'll get the green, I think. So I'll need it, just slid it. Okay, I can't. Sometimes, same be screaming top cap. Yeah, it's same, same, same. Head top green, head top green, top green, top green. He's top cat, top cat, knock him. Yeah, two, two. Right, top green and uh, a BC top cat. 10 seconds. Yeah, sell an old. Don't seem top you green. Die, hold your kill. Yep. Yeah, don't seem top green. Cat says, cat says, that's that's great box, great right. box, sell. I use top floor. Sell. Sell. Uh, under, under, one's a new, one's a new. Nice, good job. One behind a P5 box. Uh, some might hold green. I can play square. I hold green, I hold green. I'm trying to get square. Could be gold then. We're in bricks. I'm talking now, a BC, weak. He's in bricks, in bricks on me. Give me a second, give me a second. I can make that one more. What's green still? BZ, connect, on the connector, left, connector, on the left, connector. On the left, so green. Push that green. He's connector. Chunk connector. Connect to, connect to one shot. Green. Connect to one shot. Oh, oh, well. Connect to one shot. Absolute BZ. Yeah, time here. Can you just hold green? Yeah, you probably will be. Could we talk? Could we gold? Go mid. Add some green. Yeah, yeah. Go green now. Outside. Stamp in time, bro. Still green. One shot time. One shot time. The back to green. You playing for mid? Yeah, listen. I'm still in the back. I'm still in the back. Don't let me go dead. Connect green. Connect green. Connect green. Are you good? You're good. Last game time. Yeah, yeah. Last game time. Chase. Good. Nice. Bricks, right? I'll be green. I'll be good, we're good. So I'll see, well, sell, 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 weak, sell, 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 s
Faze able to bring it back a bit. That large deficit they were facing, they at least keep it close. But Kleenex, what a map he is having. 18 and 10 right now. And I mean, Bance, you know, he was the guy leading the way at plus 41. But the guy that was sort of there with him over the course of that series, just the SMG duo together, they, they are a nightmare to deal with. Well, I mean, you know, when you, when you talk about Atlanta Faze, it's always going to be simple to be easy and just how difficult it can be to deal with them. And not many teams have a response, uh, but they have. That was the thing that stood out to us. It was just there was an SMG duo, at least on par with Simp and Abizi. Um, well, so that was uh, huge for them throughout Major 2. They're doing it again here. Well, what was interesting, though, is like, at least the, the stat line over the course of those eight maps, like, Simp and Abizi were basically fine or kind of close to what they usually are. The two that really struggled were RCs and Cell, but that is what can happen when the two SMGs on the other side are popping off, right? Like, you're not getting into your comfort zones as much. Yeah, you're not to your power positions. It's on the sort of the trades of Simp and Abizi, but I just remember just, but it was Vance and Kleenex, and when they got in the base of Atlanta phase on some of those control maps, they didn't get out, and that's when your ARs are coming off a of spawn, and they're trying to go inside a, you know, really close rooms where subs reign supreme. But over to the second hill, this is a, a big fight for Atlanta phase. They're able to get this break, but Cami recognizes the spawns that flip. The comms are there, but who is oh. it? It's Celium oh. and Arsenis staying alive with those ARs. They can be so good in these positions. Seeing Celium do it yesterday, RC is another time. is going to be there for the nade. And Simp thinking about this rotation, making this route. Arsenis looks so dead there, but Celium, the guardian angel, gets the shots in right before the melee to the back of Alex. So they stay up, they get the time. We'll be looking at just around a tie game once this is all said and done. But how long can Simp stay alive? Not able to get out. Caught as he hits the edge. Kleenex will take care of business. And once again, as we go over towards generators, it'll be ultra in control. A chance to push out a lead. And Bance, the point man. Yeah, just look at this map control. With Bance in this spot, you have Cami pushed up. Inside a garage, he's able to find a kill. This is just going to slow them down. Bans, this is just perfect. They are worried about his position, but the spawn's going to come in. Well, kind of what we saw from Toronto Walls for Atlanta Phase. They react. They know Bans is that spot. All right, oh. let's take it to the back. We have the three versus four. The spawn comes in for them. They're able to break that hill. Nice recognition. They're staying active. That's just good communication from Atlanta Phase. Yeah, as much as you said they were worried about him, it felt like there was like an instant of hesitation from Simp, and then they were out. <laughs> they just flew on through. Ignore, yeah, ignore. Beautifully done, and I'll make sure Ultra can't get that lead once again, but Arceus, will he spot him in the corner? Not quite going to happen. Worried about a spot out behind, and then Ants there with the surprise. But now it's easy to turn to Pounce, and Pouncey will as the Tiny Terrors both get into the kill feed. And mid-map, all phase for now, but... This is what I had hoped for in this series, and I just hope that the series is like this map one so far. Just tons of lead changes, back and forth, highlight plays. You love to see it from the two top teams. Yeah, we got two players chasing each other as well. Inside versus <laughs> Abizi. Abizi, he was able to read that spawn, knew that someone could have spawned out. But inside, he's able to get control in the middle of the map. He had six kills in a row for Toronto Ultra. They have top green now. Let a phase spawning on the far right side of your mini map. So you have to deal with all of these power positions where your ARs are going to be setting up for Toronto Ultra. But just back and forth, lead change after lead change, break after break. And well, it's Selium, Simp, and Abizi who are able to get on through. Yeah, and there haven't been like a ton of like clean three, four downs, right? Like, I, that probably happens long. You have two really good teams as Cell shows you some really good shots. But. There you were able to get the all clear for a second of your phase. Now can they turn this into time? As they try to collapse around. The interior controlled right now by Ultra, but Selium continuing to win fights. He's up the four in a row now. Still a long ways to go towards streaks, but we'll see if he can build it. Another freebie in front. The read back to green, and he's gonna get caught. No streaks coming through. 11 point advantage for phase. And Faze, they have really focused on this Bricks area. You remember the first rotation? It was Celium and Arceus while we were in our list and staying alive in that spot. They wanted to make sure they had control. They didn't want to get stuck in the back. But now you have this situation come up. Both of those players get taken <laughs> down. And now you have Kleenex looking for his 29th kill. Trying to go on that four spree, and he is snapping on the simp. The Toronto Ultra have not been able to get a lot of time, but Kleenex now on five in a row, thinking about those streaks. 
Ah, one step closer. That was cracking me up because like, you're trying to say they don't want to get pinned back there. And as you're saying it, they're about to get pinned back there. <laughs> it, it nearly got ugly, but said Ultra didn't get a ton of time. But we'll stick with Kleenex. There's the streak. Artillery in, and that can be huge as we get deeper into this game. But they're in the point for now. And you get the cruise missile as well. Just looking for a free one. Cell might be the victim. The angle almost there. Eventually, surely he's going to find. Oh. Not going to happen. I had thought that looked so frustrating. Yeah, he's just trying to find that kill. But Selium and Arsenis, they realize the situation. And this is just what I'm loving. Watching this minimap, both teams recognize where each other is spawning. They're calling out where they're spawning. So their teammates have an idea of where they need to look next. The trades are coming in. Toronto Ultra, they kind of have to gamble this. You have to fight for this time. You have this streak, though, in the back pocket. That can come into play. It will come into play. Simp, just making sure he stays up. Yeah, Bance, though, working through the middle of the map. In a very good position inside of Brace. And here we go. There's that artillery. And he can actually hold on to it if he wants to, because Bance, he found that kill. But he's going to run into wait, it. Kleenex, slow wait. down. Slow down. Wait. Wait. Oh, no. I was going to say, Bance was... got the kill. Yeah, he got the I, kill. Thought he gonna... I thought he was going to stop, too, because exactly that. He got the kill. But then he calls it, and then he was like, ah, screw it. I'm sending it. Runs right into it. It leads to a flurry of kills for FaZe. They've got the point. They just need five points to close it out. But there are people close here for Ultra. Can they get it in time? Arceus has got the cross. He's been so good in stage three and good enough here. Atlanta FaZe gets the map one victory. And I, I don't know exactly what happened there on the Ultra side at the end. Uh, you want to say the pressure's on? Because I think the pressure's on. There is an example of it. I mean, Kleenex, an outstanding map. He's twisted. Uh, yeah, like, my guy was running around beaming people. But the fact is, is Bance has to give that comment that he got the kill. And maybe when he's in that streak, he doesn't realize which one Bance kills. So maybe he thinks he got one off a of spawn. But that was the player on the point, And he doesn't save the streak. And... It's yes, it, a good point in the sense of it's always easier for us. You know, we're like omniscient. Yes. We see the, the entire minimap. We see everything going on. So from our POV, it looked ridiculous. And well, the fact that he still ran into it is a bit absurd, but uh, <laughs> not canceling it in time. You know, it's, it's, it's very a tie game, late stretch. Comms are probably wild and stuff like that can happen that you still call it in. But I, w I was surprised to see him just say <laughs> and eat a missile to the face. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was like, all right, I'm ready to trade this. And he was going to trade it with himself. Uh, but that player was <laughs> dead. Uh, and then the players that spawned up off spawn for Atlanta phase, they were able to get Bants inside of Bricks. Then the trades come through. They have the closer spawn, Atlanta phase. Woo! They survive on Garrison. Now 3-0 and against Toronto Ultra on that map. Yeah, and who knows how it goes. I mean, FaZe might have still won it despite the misplay, but regardless, it is a FaZe win in the map one, but that's the one they're able to take when you talk about the winner's bracket final and grand final. Maybe it gets a bit more interesting now as all eight players talking it through, getting locked in, dialed in for that second map. We'll be back with the search and destroy in just a moment. The Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. A thrilling map one. Uh, a lot of other adjectives to describe maybe the, the final moments of that one. But FaZe get the W, and now we do continue on. And 
Joe, this is where I think the series gets a little more interesting, and we'll talk more about it. But I want to get to the game field keys to victory first. And let's, let's start it off with FaZe. What do you think? I mean, looking back at the Major 2 final, a big focus on RC's and Celium, the AR duo. You could see 0.71 from RC's, 0.88 in that final. Compared to Stage 3, uh, you think that motivated them a little bit? I, I think so. You look at those stats, they have been much better. And then they need to be better in SD and Control versus Ultra. The Major 2 final, they were 1 and 2 in search. And the one map they won was probably one they shouldn't have. And then 0 and 2 in Control. So that yeah. is where they had to get back to what? Stage 1, where they were just so darn good. Well, that's what I was going to say. And this is why it gets more interesting now. You know, they, they won the first major on the back of SD in control. Ultra won major two on the back of SD in control. Now we get to the SD in control in the series, and we'll see who maybe has the upper hand. But that was the keys to victory for the phase side. Let's talk about it now for Toronto Ultra. Oh, well, they need to stay competitive and hard point against the best competition. And, and for me, that is around 50 50. So you lose map one, not a big deal. You can see in their nine match win streak, Look at these records, 10 and one in search and destroy, 10 and 0 in control. Tammy, he has been a big key for them in search. He is leading the team in stage three with a 1.59 overall KD in s &D. He has a 24% first blood ratio. You need him to stay confident. He's also their in-game leader at times. An aggression in teamer from Bance and Kleenex needs to stay on point. Major two final, Bance 1.44 plus 41, and then Kleenex 20, almost 29,000 total damage. And when you and I were looking at that, that was like four or 5,000 more than the next player up. Those two were just such a dominant duo. Well, that's why I, I kind of said the map one, they were so good because Bance was, Bance was plus 41, which blew everyone out of the series away. I think, I think Kleenex was right behind him, like plus eight. But when you talk about the damage done on the map, yeah, Kleenex was literally like 4,000 clear of everybody else. So he was flying and putting shots into everything. But let's do a map rewind and look at how it broke down. As Joe mentioned, Garrison Hardpoint is going to be the only repeat in this best of five. You can see how it, how it went through and I mean, once he got deeper in the series, I mean, it was real tight in a lot of the maps, but then, yeah, once he hit the 3-0, the 6-0, the 100-point victory and hard point, Ultra really took over late. Yeah, what's crazy is because the, the map before that 3-0 on Ray Control was that round 11, that Moscow surge where they had the streak, and uh, well, in that 1v1, they lost it. Uh, so you're thinking right there, like, oh, that's the map. Like, it's Wait, done. Atlanta Kleenex, Faze is right? gonna, yeah, Atlanta Phase is going to run away with that. Um, yeah, not the best, you know, with streaks against Atlanta Phase, but we're going to move past that. Uh, but yeah, Maybe they, they just the stepped up. Just put, put them away. <laughs> but what was the difference to Control? Because they played Ray Control in the winner's final. Phase, they destroyed. And then you get the grand final repeat, and that's where Toronto, Toronto Ultra really took over. But into checkmate search to destroy. We knew, both teams knew, that vetoes were going to change when these two teams met in the future. This was one of those yeah. maps that was probably highlighted. Throughout stage three, Toronto, they played it once, they're 1-0. Atlanta Face, they played it three times, they are 3-0, and an undefeated search to destroy map for Atlanta Face. Yeah, I think some people forget about that first match, like in the sense of, Walter won the final, but Faze had dominated the series and bodied them in the previous matchup. Um, and it just speaks to, I guess, how much improved and the confidence and everything you want about Ultra, but if you're wondering if Faze can come in and beat them, yeah, they've done it many, many times this year. So far, so good. They get the map one victory, and now we'll focus on what you said was perfect in search and destroy here from Faze. Another good thing for Toronto Ultra? Nice couple of maps coming up. What, you just got, you got to watch Atlanta Faze play it against Dallas Empire in that winner's round one. So how are you going to adjust? What are you going to try and prepare for? But a map like Checkmate... You kind of already know what's coming, right? All around this B bomb site, you just have to deal with players like a BZ and Sim. Yeah, I was going to ask you what makes them so solid here, but you just kind of said it at the tail end of that. But <laughs> we'll see if they can get the bomb down. They did get first blooded. The plant is going to stop for now. He was worried the push was coming in, but Celium did even the odds at three versus three. A BZ, I thought maybe an over chow, but he just gets the info and he's able to get away with his life. Kleenex can't make him pay. Now the bomb planted. Perfect angle. The comms on point for Ultra there. Man advantage back to them. Kleenex gonna drop those. A BZ soars on through. This time the Chow ends at a gunfight. Why? Okay, he goes soaring out. Now to one versus one. Cammy hits the shots, wins the gunfight. Ultra take the advantage.
Got to stay confident, right? And well, Cammy does that big one on one, but both teams just reacting so quickly. They knew that Selian was going to go on the pinch. You saw it. They were ready for it in that post plant situation. Well, Toronto Ultra did their homework, but then it's this kill after Abisi and Simp. They fly forward, they take down Kleenex, they force the 2v2, maybe get a little aggressive, but it comes well, down he, to that. Does he think he's Batman? Does Abisi think he's Batman? Yeah, I mean. You live, sometimes you live and die by a BZ. I mean, the kids just got it. Hey, got a little like ledge slide out. He soared out there. <laughs> but the 1v1, it's Cammy with the ice. Trying to get some wall bangs in, but a flash will connect onto Kleenex, so he's got to bide his time for a moment. Now maybe to slow himself down, it'll be Krieg in hand for Abizi, but the man not slowing down, it's Simp. Opening first blood there onto Kleenex. There's always sort of this movement, and in, in they're looking for gunfights, offensive teams, on the outer parts of the map before they attack the wing. That's when we usually see defenses crumble. Selium will get picked, so you're in that 3v3, but Simp, unbelievable shots from that 74U across the map, able to force a 3v2. But the trades are coming in, but 35 seconds left now. The clock is ticking. It just feels like right now, if you get a kill, you're getting traded. Like, it's like, I got a kill, they know where I am dead. They got a kill, I know where I am dead. Yeah, 100% is, it's another 1v1, but quickly traded. And dude, how many, every single sequence there, outside like the first blood, it felt like someone got a kill, position given up, they peek for a second, dead. Like, bang, 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 till we're in a 1v1. That's how these teams want to play. Right, just going at it. Back and well, forth. It's, it's just hard to, and I know there were some plays in the hard point, but th like I said, there weren't a lot of like a ton of three or four downs. It's just they're good at efficiently trading. And yeah, that, could, that could apply here too. Yeah, and staying alive, right? Just that extra second to make sure your teammate can reposition and go for that trade. Uh, we saw that a number of times from RC's and Selium, a little mid-map. Pressure from Bans. He's going to get the first blood. He's going to get away with his life. Inside is going to respond. Been all defense so far throughout this checkmate. They've come down to a couple of 1v1s. This one might be a little bit different. We'll see. Batman's still in play. <laughs> Not in the greatest of spots, but Cell gives him a okay, chance. And suddenly it's a two versus two. His phase looked to bring it back. A potential collapse here for Ultra with a massive man advantage. But the pressure's still on phase to get this bomb down, but they've got the location of both players. Now, how do they opt to play this? Looks like they want to push the backside of the plane. Yeah, they got the angle. He's weak, and that'll be the call for Cammy to challenge. Now all on Celium in a one versus two. 18 seconds to go. Can he win the gunfight? Able to do it, and there's the trade through the window. Ultra. Sneak away with that one. Yeah, Selium, nice shots here. I mean, that, I mean, Bans is just shouldering that, but the Kree headshots come through, and sometimes there's just nothing you can do when a couple connect. So he gets deleted. Abizi's able to win the 1v1, but both Cami and Insight, they reposition. You saw the crossfire set up. Cami hears the slide on the outside of the staircase, so he lets Insight know what's coming. Watch my back staircase. I have the bomb. Again, that teamwork on point for Ultra. Yeah, I thought they were just going to double challenge the plane at first instead of trying to push through and, I don't know, give an angle to them. But if they get through, obviously, they'd likely win the round. Insight not missing a whole lot. BC, though, with the wall bank through. Cammy with the kill instantly as well. Give him another wall bank. It is a bloodbath in and around the plane. 2v2 now. Is it slows down for maybe a moment? Yeah, I wonder if one of the players spotted the bomb. Them and Abizi have it right now. That's going to force inside and clean ice to have to work inside the plane. I'm assuming they did the way they are set up in a back-to-back -back position. Clean ice just trying to find an angle. He's going to wrap all the way through. You still have insight. The other opposite stairs. Sneaky. This is one of those spots, too, where you're phased. You just can't get antsy. I feel like sometimes they just want to move. They want to push. They need to be patient. But not going to matter. Kleenex with the read. 
Oh, catch him in the corner, and now all on a BZ, one versus two, the chow out into another 1v1 as every round continues to go the distance. 10 seconds but to stun. go. Stun hits. Tactical hits, holds the edge, and a BZ clutches up in the one versus two for the phase round victory. Yeah, I mean, Insight was hitting all of the wall. You'll see, a BZ right now is like 30 HP. So they, Kleenex still has a nade. He held onto it the entire round. He's hoping that that nade is able to find that kill. But a BZ, he rechals, simp put a couple bullets into Kleenex. It gives him the advantage. And then still with the tactical in hand, able to connect. Plays the time beautifully. A BZ. Wins that round now four in a row. What, that was the ace from a BZ. Yeah, he got the first two as well. Dude, honestly, it was so wild, I didn't even realize. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that beginning sequence was unbelievable. Just both teams, heads colliding. A BC with the 1v2 and the ace. What a round. It is from a BC, but it's been a match of answering back so far. Now Ultra's turn. Kleenex just tucked away. He looks comfortable. Actually, that doesn't comfortable. It's like a wall squat. Those did you do those in high school? Like for, I did them for basketball. Those were the horrible. Right, sit against the wall like the horrible. The worst thing in the world. I thought your legs were gonna fall off. Parsis though, he's able to sneak on up. The nades connect. They don't see there's a trophy near the bomb. Now we've seen some retakes. They have to keep shouldering this to gain info. Sell with a pick on the outside. And while Simp, Celium, they get aggressive, they find the kills, but it starts with the bomb plan. Arsides, he was able to sneak his way on up. And BZ, what, his fifth in a row, so maybe a little bit closer to streaks, but Cell weak. Cell don't care. Gets another kill to close it out. And that'll be, what, the first offensive round? And now, since it was completely clean, I mean, that's... Eight in a row now. I, you haven't got... And it, it's just those little things, too, right? That FaZe do... Well, both these teams do so well. Abizi's just shouldering. So Toronto Ultra think that nobody's moved up to that bomb, right? So as he's shouldering, that's when Arsides goes prone. They don't think anyone's moved up to that bomb room. But a nice play there. Look at the aggression. Abizi on the top side of the map with Arsides. They just go up the A street. They are going. They are flying. It just feels like if you miss shots in your position is known right now, you are dead. Like, yeah, you are. You are dead. <laughs> like, if you don't get that kill, just, I don't I don't know. I, it's just, I, I'm not sure if it's just, well, it's probably a combination, but, like, the comms being really on point, the shots on point, but from both teams, especially phased right now, but it's just, you know how this map is, well, the angles and, you know, the lurking and, the second someone's position is given up, man, they are just deleted. So a BZ streak will end, but then Selium's like, hey, pal, it's my turn. Because he's now seven and four, four in a row for him. And there are what? 16 and eight combined. Yeah, big defense here. I want to go down five, two. We need a response. Ultra, if they lose this one, it would snap a six map SD win streak. We looked at some of their records. Coming into this one, just how good their control and search has been. And it's about that map selection, those map vetoes. How much How much does it matter, you think? Like, I think we all decided you know, towards the end of it, like, Ultra's group was weaker. Ace had a bit more of a gauntlet with some of the matchups. How much does that matter going into a tournament? that matters I, I mean i'm sure they're still streaming at a very high level and, and there were maps that they did get pushed uh they had a couple of crazy comebacks throughout stage three so i don't want to oh you know say that but you are correct like there was, was uh you know some teams that were streaking for sure in in that group b oh. i was just gonna shoot his teammate there but look at the plant they'll get out you mentioned what a huge round this is and how desperately Ultra need it. Let's see if they can do it. No, I thought Arcee's getting both, but now it's just down to Kleenex. One versus two. Not gonna happen, FaZe. Ripping off three straight rounds to go up 5-2. It's currently Ultra. I have no answer in this search and destroy. You know when you, you kind of talk about it, you and I have talked about it on broadcast where Atlanta Phase is such a good offensive team and their defense at times struggles because, you know, yeah, you get a little bit of anti. 
Checkmate is a map where no matter the side, you can play it offensively. We have seen a BZ, right, on the B site, get very aggressive on his peaks. He finds timings. That's why I think Checkmate has been so successful for Atlanta Face throughout stage three. Yeah, it's something like first on offense. Okay, I thought Kleenex had a freebie and Arsenis what took his that? head clean off. I gotta see that from his you POV. You can't miss, Maven. Nobody can Whoa. miss right now. No, li literally, if you miss a bullet, you are toast. His Arsenis just lock in on foreheads. Ants, last up, one versus four. Able to take down Arsenis. A BZ, next up the bat. He'll close it out, phase. Smoke him. Four rounds in a row to take the map to 6-2 and go up 2-0 in this best of five. But yeah, any small mistake, whether it's from a position or gunplay standpoint, is getting punished right now. Yeah, both teams just really bringing it here in Atlanta phase and that one they took over. You see a little smirk from Abizi. But that checkmate search and destroy, that is their seventh S&D win in a row. Getting back to that stage one form, so important for these guys. But yeah, you gotta give them credit, right? They knew the map pool. Their map pool had to switch up a little bit. A lot of focus on express search and destroy. A lot of focus on checkmate search and destroy. They knew what they had to do versus Toronto Ultra. They were able to take that checkmate. And now we go to and control, where Toronto Ultra, they've been undefeated for a very and long time. And Joe, we talked about this series beforehand, and I said, you know, we both agreed this should be an incredible series. Should, should go the distance, go to a game five. But what did my gut tell me, Joe? What did I say before this match? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll pay phase one too. There's some people out there that pay phase to win. No, I, 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 th I thought I, I said I might be a 3-0. Like, I just had this weird oh, yeah. feeling like they might come in and just dominate. Um, and granted, the map one was very tight, but we're getting closer as they need one more map to close it out. But we're going to take a look now at the U.S. Army tactical play as there were some wild rounds. I mean, we had, what, like four different 1v1s. You had the 1v2 ace for a BZ, which I imagine is what we're going to be checking out. Yeah, and a BZ, this is what I was talking about, right? He's taking different timings from this site, which we don't always see. Some people, they get a kill, they back on up. He just flies. He takes the next gunfight on the cami. So he finds the first two, and then you have this repositioning. Both him and Sim, they know that the bomb is down. And what, Toronto Ultra, they're on offense. They need to acquire that objective. Toronto Ultra, they take their time. They're probably talking, how do you want to do this? How do you want to set this up? Kleenex is going all the way around. Inside is just holding his position, seeing if they wrap back towards him. But at this point, I think they pretty much know, okay, they're, they're in two corners in plain. Uh, the way they're playing this. We have no other information. They're not showing out wide. They're not showing towards Insight. And you're going to see Insight. He put some great shots into a BZ. The wall bangs do hit. That forces the 1v1. See, it's getting crazy for him. But what, down to 15 HP. The regen comes in for a BZ. He's able to take that one. And then he's holding on to his tactical the entire time. He knows the clock working against Insight. Well, he takes the gunfight, gets the ace. A beautiful round from Abizi. Yeah, for a second, I thought he was going to get caught because he wasn't exactly sure maybe what side the attack hit him on, but he wins the gunfight. And for FaZe, it's too easy for Abizi. There in the map, too. They go up 2-0. They can close it out in the control, but as you said, Ultra there have been flawless. And they make a run. We'll find out after the break.
The Call of Duty League is presented by the US Army. What's your warrior? The new Code Battle Dock Pack is free for military service members and veterans, courtesy of USAA. Scan the QR code or visit callofdutyleague.com forward slash USAA to redeem. The game has turned on its head. Run! Run! Get out of the point! Sammy finds himself two more. Oh, baby! Absolutely slate. What a magnificent comeback from Atlanta. Boy, oh boy, what a slaughter that was of Cammy on a bit of a tear now. Who won it? Ah, dang. Ultra are looking fine. The battle for the North is already off to a great start. Strong start from Toronto. This could be a knockdown drag. I was right to make this right. Toronto have just taken the major. They truly are ultra and <laughs> Who won it? Welcome back. And, well, Joe, for the first time in what seems like forever, Ultra in a bad spot in a series. Like, they've dominated for what feels like so long, like, at least over the course of stage three. Now they're in a hole. How can they react? Yeah, I mean, you know, you're going to a game mode, though, that has been their bread and butter. Uh, they have won a, a lot of control recently. Uh, what, like 10 0 in their last 10, 10 matches. Uh, and this, they have to bounce back, play with confidence. You're going to one of your, your better maps on Garrison Control. And just to talk about kind of that dominance you were speaking to, yeah, a 9-0 stretch, 22 and 8 map count. The hard point, good enough. The other two, absolutely lights out. Yeah, and those two losses are two Atlanta phase. The one in the crazy round 11 and, and that one right there. Um, so you take those away in almost perfect. But that's why we said they have to be competitive in hard point versus the, some of these better hard point teams. And they've been doing that. But it's been there two, three, and five, and they have to find that momentum here. Going to Garrison. You know, a very good map, though, for Atlanta Phase. Eight and two overall, three and one throughout stage three, but two and oh for Toronto Ultra throughout that stage. Yeah, and it's where the it becomes more crucial that, you know, be about round 50 50 or better in hard point. Uh, after you lose the map one and now the map two, you got to win that map four, obviously, if you're going to take the series. And it's scary there, too, because what? It was. Perfect from phase in the map too. They're perfect on raid hard point as well. Um, some really strong maps for phase here. Uh, if if they can just get it to a map five, Joe, if they can get it to a map five. Raid search is their home. Yeah, I mean that is where they have put even Atlanta phase uh, in the blender. It, it has seemed a couple of times. Yeah, you just gotta get it there. And, you know, we talked about the winner's final last time we said the last major, right? This best of five, I think, in a way, really helps Atlanta phase. We're in that BO9. Toronto Ultra, they just are trying to survive and get to their maps. Uh, but they had a chance in that map one. That was their hard point pick, but they lose it. And now they're down an 0-2 deficit. It's just wild when you look at the map counts for, like, all everything here and just how good both teams are. But if you're going to make a run... It starts now if you are ultra. We'll see what they can do defensively to kick things off. And well, they're dropping one by one as quickly onto the objective go phase. Yeah, right. Three, four dead clean from Atlanta phase that forces to run an ultra. They basically have to give this up. It's going to be a three stack. B is going to be controlled. You have RC's top green right now. Cammy is trying to go on a pinch through the middle of the map, but he's going to be caught. And that's going to be the focus for Atlanta phase it is. And then they're going to start their push from there. But a nice response for Toronto Ultra. Just slow down this attack. And that's a big one there from Bans. Just to make sure you get top green control back. Uh, you already had two players from phase inside. The transition might have been clean if he loses the first. But he's able to get two and kind of reset this for a moment. And not a lot of deaths really at all. It just, what, six for Ultra. Six for phase. I know they're starting to come in a flurry now, but first point pretty clean. Now the real battle begins and Benjamin Bantz popping off. Well, I think you can actually credit that to Ultra as well. Yes, the break was clean for Atlanta phase, 
But also, they don't gamble anything, right? They just kind of give it up. They don't try to retake B. They go into their A defense. They know the next push is so important. They were able to lock that down. And then that's when they get aggressive towards the middle of the map. They know that phase has to come to them for a moment. <laughs> I think teams can learn from the discipline right now from Toronto Ultra. Another sequence there to go where if someone misses, they are just toast. <laughs> <laughs> Un unbelievable shots on their side. But now, two do drop for Ultra. Selium able to trophy up and get on the site, but the two remaining players for Ultra do get a pair of kills, and that is massive to make sure this isn't a flurry towards the point for Atlanta phase, but Zellium's still here, biding his time, just making sure he maintains control of top green as Ultra come in for the retake of the site. Now the rest of phase mostly here, just waiting on BZ. Looks like he was, he thinks he's missing, they think they're missing somebody, the way BZ is playing this. He just keeps yeah, turning just... and looking around. Yeah, they're just not sure. And while Zell, Zell he, he capped A by himself yesterday. So they want to make sure they take him down. But his teammates working through bricks. That's a BZ and our cities. In sight, slowing things down. That's a nice shot, but Simp, he's going to slow down the clock. 11 to 11 in lives remaining. They're going to get on this point. That's around all to, to retake it. Kleenex is flying. Nearly snaps and takes down both. But Tammy. We'll take down one. There is a team kill through, but Vance is still here. Everybody cleared out from phase. The clock, it is ticking. Just over 20 seconds to go now. Only six lives remaining for phase. This would be a long and wondrous hold from Ultra. This is the last push now for phase. And oh, win the gunfights to get on. Sally with a pick. One small tiny detail. They haven't even gotten a tick of progress, right? When we talk about defense for round five, if we go that deep. Here comes the last push. RCs and Simp, they're about to take down three. It's a 5v4 now in the life count. Has to be perfect for both teams. Cammy, he has stayed confident. He's able to win that gunfight. The other two players from Atlanta phase, they're coming up off a spawn. Toronto Ultra know that. They're trying to take advantage of it. And they do. There is one tick of progress, but a BZ will get taken down. Well, yeah, you mentioned it with the, the change to the rules. We'll see if that, that one tick matters uh, in the end. But a great hold. It, it was... Clean, but I think I think you nailed it when breaking down. Sort of, just just give it up. You know, you lost that first wave. Keep the lives close. Like you, you know, you throw another wave at it. Maybe you get smoke. Next thing you know, you're looking at a deficit. And well, as you well, saw, you I know, did, from I know there, did, Yeah. When you fight from there and die, uh, that is when like a player like Selium can get out onto A. Um, they just wanted to make sure that they have A control. You don't want anyone getting to top green and getting onto that point. So they just wait for them. Yeah, and that, well, the Vance two kills top green too. I mean, that that led to a really nice stretch for them. You get some control, but it's a long hold. Now we'll see if Vance can hold defensively as well. As Abizi does get a double mid map. They're just looking for some kind of opening here, but waiting for Cammy to spawn and get back into the mix. We'll see if they get too staggered and might get a bit staggered here for a moment. Oh, uh, oh or, Bans or, or is just lurking. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bans is tucked away. Simp jumps in his pocket. Arsides will then fall. So the two players end up lurking towards mid-map. It works out great. Bans is able to start off with three. And what if A's do in this situation where all of Ultra in control? They get a little bit more aggressive. Watch the number one. That's going to be Cammy. What does he try to do? Is he going to try to get on that point? No, he's just going to take his time because Bans is the last player alive. But B is going to be secured. They're up three lives. A minute 40 to work with. How are they going to attack this? Bans is still on a streak, and he got some objective. So, could be a little bit closer to streaks than what we think. First fight going through. Clinics is able to open things up, but very quick trades from Atlanta face. And this stat line right now, I know there's a lot of game to play, but this reminds me of like the final in a sense, like Anson Kleenex dominating, our season Selium struggling. Any big reason you've seen as to why? Uh, not really. I mean, you know, you got to give props to, to Banson Kleenex. Selium is playing with a third sub, so he's not running that second AR. So maybe playing a little bit quicker than, I don't know what Cammy's still sticking with that second AR. And there we go. He's on that five spree. He needs one more for artillery, but that's a big kill from Abizi. No streaks. Now 50 seconds to go. And, well, indeed, nearly an identical situation if Faze were able to hold here. 
what Ultra were just able to do. Kleenex though just peeks around the corner, spots him, and there's the Chow. Insight though with the help, he comes through on the flank. This Kleenex more than bait in that situation. But even in lives, just over 20 seconds to go. Can they get two or three down? There's two, three. They'll drop and they'll fly. Who's the man on the site? It's gonna be Arson, he's now in position. Only five kills on the game and he gets smoked. His Vance takes him off it. Insight then picks up the rotators. Four in a row for him. The stack is in. FaZe have gotta scramble. They gotta go, I mean, they gotta go fast. You do have a pinch coming in for Cell, but is it going to be too late? It is, yeah. I would say he was the first man up, and he goes top catwalk. And there we go. With 25 seconds left, they take their time in the middle of the map. Insight is working on the picks. This second shot, beautiful on the zip, and then they fly. Vance is able to find another one. He knows where Arceus is playing from, and then they're able to stack that point. They do not freak out. They stay disciplined. They know they have map control. They're able to pick Atlanta phase apart. Where did Vance kill Arsides from? Did he uh, come yeah, from top green? Like, uh, no, no, no. Through, he pushed through bricks and went towards that outer alley. Okay, okay. It's just the last I looked at the minimap, it looked like Alec was kind of tucked away to hold that cross. And then the next thing I know, he dropped. I was like, whoa. But yeah, I mean, that's what FaZe couldn't do, right? Like, they got two down, but it was staggering up that Ultra could fly back in. That was three and then a pretty clean four right after. And they just all hop it. Incredible stuff. And well... Yo, I think you're seeing why they've been so good in control. Yeah, a little bit of a different break here from Atlanta phase. Two players going to get pushed up towards A. Oh, BZ wins a big one. Uh, Insight oh. so patient in that moment. He knew it was coming. But there's the progress. Again, Toronto taking their time. They know they have two off spawn. So that's going to be Bance and Kleenex working that side of the map. The other side going to be Cami and Insight. Simp, though, he's able to win his. A BZ. Three gens is they're locking this down. Woo. With those and, spawn uh, kills, this should be A. It Maybe. doesn't matter what gun, apparently, but can they finish it out? A B uh sorry, Vance able to get in just in the nick of time. Simp though hits him down to low HP and there's the kills. Now the cross. First part done. It is Ultra who have to rally back from an 0-2 deficit in the series, but FaZe's turn to try within this map three. Down 0-2, trying to bring it back. Great on offense, on to the point now to close this out. And you would think with a four life advantage and getting A first, they're in a spot to continue on, but we'll see if Vulture up to it. I mean, just that, I mean, if they end up winning this round, no. which yeah, that's yeah, gonna yeah. be four no. dead. Yeah, that yeah. gunfight from it. a BZ. <laughs> that on gunfight from a BZ onto inside. That's the whole round, honestly. I mean, there's a couple of gunfights that go down the middle of the map and there's some trades. But a BZ kind of creates that chaos. Him and Simp do a wonderful job. Simp's going to have the best play in the round. This is right from the break. The teamwork comes in from Atlanta Phase at the A zone. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if a BZ goes down, you probably have the pinch because those two players, Green, probably would have went up top and took care of Simp. I don't even know what sound I made during that gunfight. Because from Insight's <laughs> POV, that looked horrible. Like, like he, before he, like, recentered, he was just dropped. I, I, he hit a couple of shots, but missed and, one, and, and as then, we yeah, said, you lose. A, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't want to keep saying that same line over and over, but yeah, he just hit two bullets, then missed, and he was dead before he could center on him again. We'll see if it's a break-off thing, but selling him on defense on five in a row, and maybe it was because he's on a streak. He was working the objective. He has an artillery, but he pulls out the Craig for this round. Can he find... The missile as well. He's such a big help. And with how dominant that offensive round was, they could have defense round five, depending on how this goes. Ah, six in a row. But he got he got the streaks though, right? Yeah, he got him. Okay, okay. Every time I see the missile, I wanna always say Hellstorm because of Black Ops 2 and 3. I always Ooh. forget the crews. <laughs> yeah, no, I I my instinct is to say that too, all the time. There's 24 seconds to go, and this has been the most dominant defensive effort we have seen. Seven life advantage for FaZe. You have gotten nowhere if you are ultra. Simp is pushed up so far on the map. Arcee is heading there to join him. 
the last ditch effort in this round four for Ultra to try and maybe push this the distance. Not going to happen. They can't get there. An impressive offense followed by a flawless defense and phase. Get us to a round five. And then you still have this streak as well. A backup for Atlanta phase if things go wrong off the start or towards the A zone if they need it. Or if they have a round like that, Ooh. that's a slap in the face. The streak's in your spawn. We'll see what Cell does with them. But Toronto Ultra, they got to win an offense. I mean, both teams just been at least solid defensively off the break. But then, you know, some openings for the offense, some chance to make plays. Like, there it just felt like Ultra had just never had that chance. The BZ surges forward. A BZ runs through them. Three down instantly for Ultra. And unfortunately, you might be right back in the blender. All four will fall. This phase pick up right where they left off. And there's the ping in. I, I was going to say that makes the read very easy. But I don't think he can read after that. Because Cammy just obliterated him. Ultra get out of it despite the ping. Now on to B they go. Yeah, you, you lose the pain. At least you didn't invest the streak, right? I was making sure he... I was hoping he held on to that, just in case things went wrong. There was a lot of round left. Now it's a question. Do Atlanta phase go for this retake with a kill? They might. Vance is able to want, find one. Up top green. Inside to get taken down. Sell right back onto it. And Sell Ooh. able to take down two. Finds the 74U. Makes the read on the player. Caution. Hops off the box. Beautiful movement from Sell. Won't find the third, but he at least saves B. The pressure Dude. back on Ultra. Dude, when we, I mean, when we were on Vance's POV, I'm thinking freebie, right? Like, there's the trade. We swap. And Cell wants no part of it. Lovely read and movement. But this might be the zone with that gunfight win. They can close it out. They get the minute extension. 1919, the lives department. All down. The one final zone. Oh, and, Sip has an artillery thing, as well. Oh, yeah, I didn't even like, know wait, he had one. I didn't either. Now, you have to force these streaks out now. Like, you need to get some of these streaks out of their hands now. You have to. And I am the opposite might be happening. They might just be dropping. Simp can't quite finesse. Vance is onto it. They get a couple right, of kills. All right, that, there they, you go. that's what you needed. That's going to force the streaks out. So here they're going to come. That's one of the three exhausted now. I think he followed up with another one, maybe. I Honestly, I, at least that forces them in, but they're just going to go with Simp. It'll be easy to find those kills. You still have players here. Progress and right off the spawn. Cell, he's going to call it in. One more player is still alive. That's going to be Bance. Off spawn is Kleenex. Bance is still alive. Brickside, though, he has to hit this. He doesn't. Bance on one side of the map. Here comes the reinforcements. You might have to call the artillery in here, too. But Ars is able to win it, and there's the streaks. They needed them. To hang on to this round five, they still have not put the finisher on yet. No, I mean, that was perfect for Ultra, though. You just forced out all three streaks in a 30-second span. I was hoping for them to get, like, one out early. They get them all out. Now you have to break once more. You did it once earlier in this game. You got the four down. You closed it out. You need one state of progress. And Insight be the hero. And look at the way Atlanta Phase is playing this. They're turtling up a little bit. So here's the thing. When you're playing this slow, uh, not to get map advantage, if the kills go Toronto Ultra's way, they are just going to stack like we saw in that round two. There's Here the go. kills. Cammy, Kleenex able to find them. It's now Here on to Selium and Simp. They're going to swarm them. They're going to get the kill. They've got two on the point. It's going so fast. Can Phase get there in time? Somebody's got to surge on. They're not able to do it. And Ultra survived three streaks in that round five to get the win. And Joe, you've talked through it perfectly. When you're set up defensively like that, it just takes one wave. And Ultra, get it done again to keep this series going. Unbelievable stuff from Ultra. The discipline on both offensive rounds to slow things down. And then it's just so effective. There's not even trades. It's three down both times. But even before that, as we said, what, Ban stayed alive from a couple of streaks? Forced a lot of attention from Atlanta Faze onto him. And because of his position, they could not get onto the point, so they couldn't stop the reinforcements. What does that mean? You have to invest another artillery. 
and all three were gone. All three were gone. It comes down to a push. In Toronto Ultra, they clutch you up. Yeah, I was just thinking like, almost like, you know, each each streak kind of makes up for a mistake or, you know, a collapse. Like, they break, you use one, they break, you use one. I didn't think it was going to be all three on that sequence. But, yeah, I mean, the streaks don't connect with anything. The gunfights go Ultra's way. They make the plays. They clutch up. They do what seemed to be bordering on impossible. Definitely improbable with all the added utility on the phase side. Incredible stuff. Uh, Joe, that's ridiculous. With That's insane. Well, I'm happy because I want to see more of this. So I'm yeah, so happy we have a map absolutely. four. These two teams are just absolutely. on a different level. Absolutely. The map one was thrilling. Uh, came down to maybe streak usage. The map three came down to some streaks at the end. It's a tight one. A battle again of the Titans in the Call of Duty League. Ultra, stay alive. Map four, up after the break. All-Star Weekend voting is now live. Vote now at CallOfDutyLeague.com slash All-Star Weekend. There's dashes in between there. Don't miss those. You'll be uh, getting your vote in, trying to decide who's going to be on the top spot. Joe, I think we had votes in. Do you know who, who was like, who's your first thought? Maybe like top couple. Uh, we voted. Oh, I did. I filled something. Oh. Uh, you didn't I, do that? I must have missed that one. I'll get on that right after this. Oh, yeah. yeah don't forget yeah, to vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Joe is a very <laughs> bad example of what you should do in this scenario. You should go yeah, don't do what I do. Don't do what Joe does. Although typically I'd recommend not my life choices, but here, not Joe. <laughs> but Atlanta Phase, Toronto Ultra, let's talk about the hard point and how they've been this season. Both have been very good. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, when they added insight for Toronto Ultra, there was a big turnaround in their hard point. I mean, there was a big turnaround in all of their games. But yeah, I mean, Pretty much for Atlanta Phase, that is where they have a a big advantage. And that's what the advantage was in the Major 2 Final. I think they won, what, two of those, the three hard points. But this is where it's Toronto Ultra and these best of fives, they have to at least find one with how good their search and control can be. A reminder on how the maps and modes have gone thus far. I want to, I need to scroll up on our stats check because what were the records for this? I know it was really close for both teams. It's what? Um, oh, I stroll all the way up to our Dallas-Minnesota matchup. That's not correct. Well, it's 4-0 uh, on Raid Hardpoint for Atlanta Phase, and it is 4-6 for Toronto Ultra. And that's a Thank lot you, of close losses for, for early on in the year. I mean, you and I yeah, casted five a couple. Of those. Yeah, yeah, but five inside of, of stage the three, 0-1 uh, for Toronto Ultra, 2-0 for Atlanta Phase. Okay, well, I mean, that's the, I think the recency there is far more important than, than anything else. Um, can you get to the map five? 
And I'm not saying that five is by any means a guaranteed victory for Ultra, but they are 8-1 and one there. They are, you'd say, the best raid search and destroy team in the game. But now is yes, where you need I would to rely on the hard point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, right? They are so, so good there. But can you get there? You made insane plays at the end of the map three. You get the raid. Now can you come up huge? I got a feeling this one's going to be a banger. I'm talking like 250 to 248, Joe. I would love nothing more. The people at home would love nothing more. Off the start, <laughs> RC's, that's your teammate. But is able to find one. Man advantage to Toronto Ultra. Well, it's going to be four man advantage, actually. Yeah, well, when yeah your main AR takes out your entry and then your main AR gets shot after he does that, uh, things kind of fall apart from there. The domino effect is through and Ultra get into a good position early. But yeah, I, I, we didn't see it from their POV, but obviously something went wrong there with the phase break. Ooh. Ooh. But again, right away, a response from Atlanta phase. How do they want to break this hill or do they just want to focus on the rotation? They put a lot of the pressure middle of the map that forces two off spawn to focus on kitchen. Opens up a 2v2 on the hill for a BZ and Simp able to win it. They're going to start to earn some time and get some map position here in laundry. We'll see how they opt to set this up. Is there a focus on the backside? We've seen this broken from the front more and more, but Amy, well, he's got a line of sight and a BZ. We'll see you back on spawn. Just waiting for the hit. Who's gonna slide in? It's gonna be Sep. Slide is in, he's tagged up, little bait and switch, but a BZ put right back to spawn. All time to ultra so far. Because they're doing a lovely job holding inside. Yeah, and you, you kind of saw what Simp was waiting for He's the man calling out the trophies. He's not seeing anything. He's hoping needs tacticals that they connect before the trophies start to come in play. Tim's able to put his down in sight. He's got the help of a trophy. So they're able to hold on. The push yeah. to the front does not connect. And now it's a rotation over to Garage. Well, you oh, look at number hard. two. Bance, Bance snuck through. Bance snuck through. Bance got behind. Who is that? Abizi. Abizi's looking for him. Bance is already all the way on the point. And RC's going to be like, okay, hold up. He's here. The pinch is in. The crossfire is there and a BZ. He's actually able to get three. Cammy, though, is on five. He was on five in a row. Sorry, it's like that the top bar is catching up. The multi-kill just got there. Same with Cammy's five spray. But it is Mixie on the point. Cammy right back to the spray. 13 and four to start this game. It's a hold from FaZe. It's a break from Ultra. You're seeing it all here. It's just so quick. Both teams recognize when they have an opportunity on these hardpoint maps and where they need to go before that team can get into a setup. But Toronto Ultra, they find the opening, they break on through. Their guns are hot as they clutch up that round five in control. Atlanta Faze need a response on this basketball court hill, but it's two players for Toronto Ultra in the back. It's on the simp and simp does not miss. Sam closes it out, gets control, ready to make a run down 30. Let's go to an Astro listening with FaZe. My I have your friend, I have your friend, I have your friend. And money? Chris, I'm about to lay down. Money, 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 I'm in front. 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 Can you make him Let me ring on MC. Yeah, I'm gonna ring on Nothing harder than I'm holding him. 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 I'm holding
I'm on him. One's kitchen, one's kitchen, I think. One's kitchen, I think. Got me, dude. One's kitchen. Oh, he's right. Money, he's winning money. I got one kitchen. Nice, he's out. Laying down inside kitchen. Yeah, laying down inside kitchen. Wait, wait, wait. Kitchen, one shot. Kitchen, one shot. Kitchen, one shot. Yeah, you got it. Nice. We got one. Oh, watch out. 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 Watch yeah, give me one shot, white man. Give me dead, give me one shot, give me a shot. Two of them, white man. Two of them, white man. Nice. I still spawned here, I still spawned here. I still spawned here. I still spawned here. Bro, I think the one thing that stood out to me there, like, you kind of heard, it was Semp or Alex said, let's get to our setup, right? For courtyard. And they had, what, one first stop apartment, one ringside, and two in court. And they got the setup they wanted. But, like, as soon as Cell dropped to the two man push, that fell apart so fast. Like, Ultra just ripped through their setup. Well, I mean, you get the first kill and it forces everyone to react, right? One person has to pick up a different, you know, angle, then the push may come from a, diff a different spot on the map. It's difficult when you're losing that first gunfight. But Toronto also right now, it's their ability to break these hills. We saw it in the scoreboard. There's just the kills after the rotations for Atlanta phase, not there. Zabizi, the only player that was positive for Atlanta phase. On the other side, Toronto Ultra, everybody's playing well. Yeah, I know it's not the same team as last year. It's a completely different game in spawns, but I don't know. It was something that plagued them. Like, they're a break-heavy team. When you need to see them post up and set up, they sucked. When you need to see them flying and break a good setup, they were great. Uh, it just seems to be a thing at times with this team, but can't take anything away from how ridiculous Ultra had been. Especially Cami. I feel like every time I see him on raid, regardless of the mode, he is just insane. The guy is a monster, and now the lead about to approach 80 for Ultra. Yeah, he talks about one of those breaks. They need one here. They need a break, Atlanta phase. This would put Toronto Ultra right around the 230 mark and getting us to that game five. Here we go. First slides are in. It trades back and forth. RC's at least brace it up, gets on that contest, but the focus is money room. There's the break. Much needed from Atlanta phase. There's still one more player in the back. That was Cami off of spawn. This time Dances they get well. it done. This time they get it done. Now, can they hold on? Some players rotating. Some trying to hold. Abizi trying to win his ones. That's big but time. Paul, he's going to get swarmed. Yeah, there's still 20 seconds there. That'll get them, what, 30, 40 points away from victory. But Simp is lurking on the rotation. Two players from phase set up. And this time, it's got to be cleaner at Garage. It was just so back and forth. If Bays are going to take this, they got to get all the time. Well, I mean, it was messy, right? It was because Bant snuck through. It caused chaos in their setup. They couldn't get to their setup. All the kills middle of the map were going Ultra's way. The spawns were there for Phase, But now they have some in-map position. They're setting up those layers that a lot of players talk about. That slows down Ultra. So 20 seconds off the clock. No contest been in there yet. But Cami has been slowly working his way up. Going for the gunfight. Cell able to win it. So far so good. 30 seconds in. FaZe have gotten all the time they desperately need. But still members here. Arceus wins the gunfight on his side. Ultra now give it up. So that will be a perfect hold from FaZe. Whoa, whoa. They needed a break. They needed a hold. They've gotten both. Granted, you'd love to... Maybe you've gotten more of, what, the final 20, 25 seconds of kitchen. And now you have one of the toughest hills to break. The basketball court. Toronto Ultra just need 42 seconds out of the 60 to get us to a map five. And well, Atlanta Bays are flying. All the players are Whoa. going, but Cammy shuts it down. Four spree for Cammy. Multi-kill comes in, but the spawn's there for Atlanta Bays. The earlier what? kills paid off. The positioning there. There's a contest on the point. What in the world is happening? Ultra able to hold after, I mean, that looked insane where all three players slid in, but Cami, he doesn't care. He's on 28. What a play from Cami. Then they get the spawn, but Ultra, they hold it. Three down again. There's the fourth, 18 points away from victory. It's backside laundry, four phase, and they've got to send it. The last push. Now for phase, or we are going to a map five. Ultra, not a single reverse sweep on the season. But it might be in the cards if they can close this out. Well, again, pressure on phase. They have to break the fight middle of the map. Abizi able to find the opening. He's got RC's and Sim right next to him. But Cami again with Dude. another multi kill keeps them off the hill. This guy not missing. All right, missed a couple of times. But, but like, he keeps him off. Has it 
<laughs> when, when they're going two or three down, he's just making an individual play. It's insane to see. Speaking of individuals, it's Insight with a triple to close it out. Ultra with emphasis get that victory into a map five we go i was nervous joe i was nervous in that round five of control they yeah i base had three streaks i'm like god god damn it it's gonna be a 3-0 i was worried it would be but ultra they survived they made crazy plays and then here moment after a moment they step up and cammy just some insane Playmaking ability down the stretch. What a sensation he has been. And I feel like there's a thought among some that, you know, it's it's not necessarily the talent for this team. And it's the, the teamwork, the fundamentals. If you're not aware, Cammy is a superstar. Like the guy is nuts. Yeah, he absolutely is. Uh, and he has been. And what's crazy at Major 2 in the final, it's not like he even played his best. You had other superstars step up. Yeah, you, you got to give him credit. Like, is there teamwork on point? Yes. But the fact is, is they make some ridiculous plays, every single one of them, that keep them in the game, that allows that teamwork to flourish. You saw it there throughout that raid, Hardpoint. What, the break on the garage. Another break on the basketball through that first rotation gave them that lead going to the second rotation, put all the pressure on Atlanta face. Well, I think, I, I mean, I was one of these people in a way, and I'm sure some might feel the way of like, you know, if, if two teams are playing at their peak potential, that many would think like FaZe would have the edge. Just speaking to the individual talent of, you basically have an all-star team on FaZe. But the levels that Ultra have started to reach over the past month, month and a half, like they, they have those super megastars. Like with the way they're playing right now, and is it guys that have done it over multiple years? Maybe not, but Cammy, my God, man, watching you play, Commentating you play is a treat. The guy's a monster on the map. And now to Ultra's home we go. No reverse sweeps on the season, but it's raid, search, and destroy. They are eight and one on the year. We'll see if they can close it out after the break. The Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. The game has turned on its head. Run, run, get onto the point. Tell me he finds himself two more. Oh, baby. Absolutely slate. What a magnificent comeback from Atlanta.
boy, oh boy. What a slaughter that was. Cammy on a bit of a tear now. Oh, boy. Ah, dang. Ultra are looking fine. The battle for the North is already off to a great start. Strong start from Toronto. It's gonna be a Toronto have just taken the major. They truly are ultra and oh, boy. We wanted a game five. We got ourselves a game five as FaZe and Ultra go the distance. They were a round away from closing it out. Three streaks to use. They couldn't get it done. And now Ultra making the run, Joe. They sure are. Uh, they just take advantage of uh, some crazy situations. You know, in that garrison round five. I mean, streaks should be difficult. Right? Uh, you know, when you're the defensive team, you have to retake Br Bricks afterwards, not able to do so. Then we go to our raid hardpoint. A couple of, of holds that were just held so well by Toronto, Toronto Ultra and then broken. But here, KD in game five. Who to look out for? Simp it up easy for Atlanta phase. Insight with a 1.76. And that begs the question, like when was the last time they saw a game five? Like they were so clean in stage three barely lost any maps right i mean i, I know for the s d stats for them joe like we talked about cammy and what he had like a one five this stage last stage it was all insight insight had like a one five he he was in nuts for them in search so that's the last time they were really tested like that i mean just going to a game five and ready to clutch up all the pressure on the line i know you could talk about the final i know it goes eight maps but it's been a while since they've been in this spot yeah, but I am sure they are happy they're playing Raid Search to Destroy. And this is a, a battle where they have dominated Atlanta Phase. Uh, Atlanta Phase is what? Three and three on this map. Two of those losses are to Toronto Ultra. One is to NYSL this stage. But eight and one for Ultra. And it is all about how quick they react on this map. And on defense, look out for Banton Insight. The way they control the middle of the map is something to watch. Well, was it was it Bants and Kleenex taking over on this map? Was that the search, or was that the control from the final? Like I remember them just flying and dominating. But I can't, I can't remember. Oh, uh, that was that map. was the control. That was the control. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but they do that too here. The yeah, big well, thing here is Bit Insight's position, right? He's sort of the, the the player playing on an island at times. Well, there's the first blood. Arsides will take Bants off of A. He tried to get aggressive towards Tiki and gets caught. And one thing that plagued them early in Search and Destroy and on a map like this sometimes was Ants will get first blooded often, but with insight and the change in position, he's been so much better. Look what that did, right? Ants, while well, he does go down, he pulls two members all the way towards A. So they have no, I oh, no idea that Clinics and Insight are all the way back laundry. And next, I think he's just going to plant this. He's going to put this down. Cammy's still over there. But they have no idea. So it's going to come down to a retake. And they're going to have to work across the map, Atlanta Phase. Does one get picked by Cammy? And how much time does he waste? I mean, look at this. Well, ends up being less than I thought. Me too. Except <laughs> takes him out. <laughs> no, you set it up, but then he clutches up. Now, Insight was a guy to highlight in the game fives. The guy has been a beast. He continues to get it going here, but it's the wall bang through. Everybody drops. Simp and Cell will clutch up as they close out the four versus three. And part of me, like, Joe, this is what we talked about with, with FaZe sometimes, though. It's like they get a little antsy or a little too aggressive on defense sometimes, especially when they're man up. Like, I guess I kind of feel like them kind of just holding that site and grouping up and then playing the retake is exactly what you wanted to see. That is exactly what I wanted to see. I, I didn't mind it. I was just saying how that player pulled them that way, right? But they yeah, took their yeah. time. They played the 4v3. It does get a little wild there in that scenario if Cammy wins that gunfight. That, that, to me, determines the round. Because if Cammy wins that, that wastes so much time. The players back laundry know they have to fly because then they have to deal with Cammy middle of the map somewhere. But Simp goes huge, and RCs opens that round up with the first blood. Yeah, that's not an easy... Gunfight. Well, maybe easy for Sim. Is they're gonna fly? They just send it on forward. Insight. Point man on defense will get dropped as he's the guy with eyes onto A. But there is a quick transition here, right into window and through court. 
Come Ultra. That's a big win from Kleenex to a 3v3 oh. now. Simp's gonna get caught as well. Ultra picking him apart. And how fast those numbers just dwindled. RC suddenly, where did my squad go? Boys, you've left me alone in the water. I'm soaking wet and pissed. Yeah, it's tough, you know? Yeah, he had pushed in the water and that's what happens. But great first blood. What does Atlanta Face do? They know inside likes to play that round. He plays that angle back Tiki from the courtyard area. They all go lower ledge. They show nothing towards that site. You saw him from inside. He was like, oh, there's a guy in Tiki. A BZ just flies, doesn't give him the info, but all the one-on-ones across the map go to Toronto Ultra. And that's where I feel like that's one of those rounds you're going to get away with that once. Like you need to win that if you're face, right? Like you catch yep. him off guard, you know, the, the whatever it is, the VOD review, you're prepped for it. You play it perfectly. You do the hard part. You get the first blood. That's the round you need to win. It's just, I just don't think that happens twice. Well, some nades go off towards the B site. Middle of the map controlled by Atlanta phase, but bomb being planted. RCs isn't going to see anything before this bomb is down. Is that tactical hit? I don't think so. So, okay, another retake for Atlanta phase. This time, they're a little bit different. They do not have man advantage. They're going to try and work the flank, but look at Insight's position. He's all the way in the back. He's ready for this. He is ready for this with a Krieg. They do pick him out, but lurking his pants. Thankfully, there's two for phase. You get the trade. Now they have numbers, but only 20 time, seconds though. to go. Yep. They've got a sore. Can Cammy hit the shots? He is able to do so. Busting through glass. Wrapping back, though, is Simp. 2v1. So on Kleenex. 10 seconds on the clock. He peeks it. He gets the kill. Finds his time perfectly. Round win to Ultra. And, yeah, I mean, you said it, it's just different, right? The setup, the fact it's a 4v4, the amount of time it takes for them to have to push through the flank is they send three that side of the map, and he just relies on Kleenex to clutch up, and he does. And yeah, I, I mean, you know, inside gets taken down, but it, it takes three players from Atlanta phase to focus on him, right? It's not until 25, 20 seconds when they have to worry about the players inside a bedroom and apartment. You clear that out. There's a lot of different timings. You mantle down. You go on the outer ledge. And it comes down to that one on two. But who's the teammate? It's the clock with just a couple of seconds left. They're able to find that last kill. And well, it's going to be a challenge middle of the map. Atlanta phase, they're going for it. They go for it, and Cammy greets him with his Krig. Except now, one versus three. He's on four in a row as well. The read was there, but I think he didn't spot him quickly enough. It's a fast one. His courtyard is littered with corpses. I don't hate it. They know that they like to do this. You challenge it. But it's an extra Krig on the bands. That's a difference maker. The challenge, too strong from Toronto Ultra on defense. Yeah, it feels like, you know, a great read by FaZe on that offense to pick off Insight there. Great read from Ultra defensively. You know FaZe like to do it. They're set up for it. They hold it. Fantastic stuff. Now with this two-round edge. I mean, they got smoked in the game too, but it is a far different conversation so far here. Abizi can't get away with his life, though, after the first blood. Sticking to their guns, though. Playing with the map position. Easy, not afraid to take that challenge. We know that. We're going to have another retake for phase. Three versus three. Dance Kleenex inside getting set up. Already 15 seconds off of this. They haven't really started to go yet. They waited for Simp to get here, and then the double push comes in. All on to Insight. He's been Mr. Map 5 for them. A clutch up here. There's the swarm. Selium. Funny hopping around the edge. Takes his head off. And a much needed retake. And that seems like it's going to be the recipe here. It's been three retake scenarios. Two they've been able to do. They'll take those numbers. Oh, well, that just starts with Simp, though, right? I, I think in that 3v3 at times, maybe we see that player in the middle of the map where it'd be Simp or Beezy. Maybe try to make a play inside a ring. But... The call is hit out back with us. And as soon as he gets there and in slides, they take the three on two. Uh, so oh. a nice job by Atlanta Phase to reel him back in and simp while he's executing seven kills in the map. And I think the patience of the other two as well. I think sometimes we would see 
someone get caught there, right? By the time Simp yeah. gets there, one's down, they, they wait to group up, and yeah, the chow instantly as soon as Simp is in, but... You're seeing what we saw in that round one, but Insight's playing a little bit, or sorry, Cammy now is all the way back court. The bomb's gonna be planted. Arcee's just trying to sw swim away. Kleenex is hunting him. He's hunting him, he doesn't care, but Abizi's in the bar. Kleenex threw on the trade, the shot, the punch will connect, 2v2 now. Simp found a yep. kill middle of the map. He went on a, on a flank. He's gonna find the flank. He's on the defuse though. Kleenex has to hop off of it. Nice shots into a 1v1. Oh, Simp's going. He hit it. He hit the bullets. Kleenex though, he's sticking it. He's sticking it. Is the time there? It's not. Simp going huge in map five. Oh my God. I almost thought Kleenex. I mean, the fact that he whipped Celium out of the window there. Just unbelievable to get a shot, but you nailed it. The tags are in. A moment of hesitation to make sure he's sticking it, and then over the top with the vertical. Goes Sim. What's he on now? Ten, <laughs> ten oh, and he two. Aced, he aced that round. He ten aced. and two. Or no, three. Yeah, three. He was seven. Yeah, he had seven, so he's at three. Yeah, okay. Sometimes that messes with you. You see four. You're like, yeah, you see the four. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> Every time I see a four, I'm like, yeah, he aced it. <laughs> but they win back-to-back -back rounds and much needed. We're all square at 3-3. Three, three. Give me a round 11. Bring me the distance. Emmy waiting, lurking. We'll get traded out, but Bants on the kill feed at the same moment. And BZ about to get the information. He is on the bomb. He's getting tagged at range, but the call out comes into Arsides. Ooh, I, thought, oh, I thought that name stuck him in his forehead for a second. Abizi has had 700 bullets shot in his direction. He's been able to stay up, dodge the nades, two versus two. Your ankles, we'll see you later. Kleenex, we're he your head about to be torn off, but he gets away with seven HP. Can he clutch again? The push is in, the chow is in, and Kleenex can't get away. Phase now, three rounds in a row. I, dude, th that round, I, I thought RC, I thought I was going to stick him in the face coming at him. Uh, Abizi somehow gets through like two different crosses with his life after everyone's shooting at him. And then insights, poor size 13s, just obliterated. The big kill here, though, is RC's not allowing Bans to get away. RC's knows if he allows Bans to get away, it's a 3v2. So he makes sure that he gets him off the bomb into a two on two. They can take their time. The reset, he dodges the nade and. Yeah, I mean, it's Abizi. Abizi gets the trade inside Art. He gets the info that they're in that area. Well, well he's he, able to find three. He gets the info. He's on bomb, too. Like, set RC's up to get that free peek and kill. So, what? A hot start from Ultra. Phase respond. Phase on a Terra now. Can Ultra respond? They did it in the series. Can they do it here in the map five? An insight was our guy to highlight. It, it's been tough. They've really been isolating him. Two and seven right now. Watch the middle of the map, Bans and Kleenex, when are they going to go for it? Because they'll have a one on two. This is what Simp did last round. He played the middle of the map. That's where he found a lot of those kills. It's a timing game, though. He's going to peek. Cammy's going to put that up, and that might be time to go. It is. Bans and Kleenex trying to find the opening, but it's, they're going to wrap back. It's three through the middle stairs. Sam's coming back, though. Little snap. Oh, that snap. Little snap, but he can't take down two. A BC does finish one off with an aid though, so numbers for the moment to phase. In defense, Celium on point. One man remaining gets Bance. And the run now for phase continues four in a row. It is all simp for me in these last couple of offensive rounds. You can see how focused. They are. Abizi does a great job again getting to Tiki, playing his life. He was able to find another kill. But Simp is making Cammy focus on him. He's finding the kills. He's causing chaos for Toronto Ultra on their defensive rounds. One more round for FaZe. In the first part, the revenge tour is done. They might have to do it again. Beasy, he's got a kill from this position previously this time. He can't finish it off, but he does get away with his life. All right, now wait there. Where are you? Over towards the site. 
through middle of the map again for Atlanta phase. It's a 2-2 split. You have Cammy watching the flank. He's starting to work on up. Here we go. Bomb planted. 4v4. Simping up easy on one side. Trying to find Cammy. Retakes have been good. They've been able to do it twice. And they retake again here. First blood in. Abizi finds him. 25 to go. Big win from Cell. Another one falls. They all drop phase. The retake game too strong. They win five straight rounds to survive the run from Ultra. And the revenge is in. FaZe get the win. But the work's not done yet. Yeah, I was going to say, revenge is in, but they, they want to win Major 3. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. They it's still the got a step. winner's first final. They, they know Ultra's still alive in this tournament, but you know what? They get pushed to the limits again. The difference, though, their search and destroy. They're able to win both of them in this series. They look back to Atlanta FaZe. That we know. It's up easy and simp. I put a stamp on it in that map five. Well, I, I, I think if you go back to RC's tweet after the loss, it nails exactly what you know you and I were watching and so frustrated with too, just watching it. He's like, we just were getting first blood and search. Like they were just kind of headless at times. Not the case there. I mean, they dominate the first bloods and it felt like whenever they were in a scenario, especially defensively where they've struggled, they grouped up, comms were on point, it was, about as common collected you can get from a retake situation. Because what, they had four retakes and got three out of four, right? Yeah. And I, I think it's the man right there, Cell too. He's the one at times that gets caught. I think he can get antsy. Uh, we know he can because he's got that beautiful movement. He can stay alive in situations which he shouldn't. But he can also be the one getting blooded. Uh, but Sip and Abizi, 22 and 10 in that map five. They dictated the pace. They were the ones starting the retake. Simp in the middle of the map. On the ultra side, you just kind of said it. What? Inside two and nine. Not the best performance from him. It was really all on that A site for Atlanta phase where they found the openings on offense. Well, what? When we looked at the stats for the map five, and you know, we didn't break it down by map, but just you know, the final map in general. It was simple to be easy on one side. Insight far and away the best on the other. Insight got shut down. The other two popped off. I mean, they they literally took over there. And, I, I, you know, it, it isn't the final, right? And this is a team that expects to win every single tournament when they go in. But you can tell they are they are fired up and feeling good about that victory. Because it was, maybe, maybe it should have been a 3-0. They probably think they should have closed it out. But maybe it's almost better to get the win that way. Like, gutsy, down 3-1 on a game five, you bring it back. And you improve in a spot in search of destroy where you've, you've been struggling. And that's what, well, just uh, Ultra's second loss there. Well, that's what I was to say. It's also a map where Ultra has dominated them, so their yeah. adjustments have really paid off. Uh, but we'll see. Are we going to get that series again? Well, you still have the winner's final coming up, and nobody really wants to play that Ultra team down in the elimination bracket, but they have a lot of work to do if they want to get back to a major final. It is kind of hard to imagine the, map, the final being different after the series we just watched. Like, those two teams going at Never each know. other, that was, that was... I know, you're right. Anything can happen, but that was a pleasure to watch, but... Uh, before we get to our next match, let's check out the scuff play of the game. It's going to be Semp leaving his mark on nearly every single round. He goes triple positive. Joe, take me through it. Yeah, just watch number seven here, right? You just keep your eyes on the minimap. Abizi's going to find that first blood. But he's able to take down, I believe that's Cammy working the middle of the map. And into the 2v2, they know they have to worry about him. So he's starting to work the flank. Selium is up top. He's just going to check the bomb. And, you know, we've seen some players hold the stairs. We've seen them push the money. He's able to find that kill. And Clinix is actually on the defuse right away. Uh, and I actually wonder if he holds that. What, what could happen? But he's able to get those kills. And as you said, you see it in that best play cam. He holds it. He puts a couple of bullets in. He holds it because, what, you can get to that spot. The bomb is a very strong position. He pops on up. You don't want to get caught sprinting. Very patient, very disciplined out of simp in that 1v1. Well, we've all been there in any first person shooter like you you get somebody weak you go to fly and the second you go to sprint or maybe throw a nade like the second you go to do anything else they pop and they're like one shot and obliterate you like we've all been there that that moment of hesitation the read sim makes it look easy but like it's not it's not the easiest play great play there from sim they move on to the 3-2 victory they'll meet the winner of our next series which will be subliners and mutineers and 
Yeah, now Ultra, their turn to try and wreak havoc on the loser's bracket, but they're in a position they were last tournament. Yeah, I mean, this is that's where they, you know, that's Top where fire. they found a lot of momentum. Uh, and then for FaZe, how about Revenge? I mean, don't forget, NYSL, it might have just been a group play match, but they beat them in a Game 5 Round 11. Uh, so if they do face the subliners in the winner's final, coming up next, you know, that's another match where they, they did lose to that team. So that, that run will continue. But we got another one still. New York subliners taking on the Florida Mutineers. One team that was very hot <laughs> and one team that was really getting into, into a rhythm in Florida. That match like almost feels like it should have been there. Like it was just, it was so good right to a game five. Just the two winners of the year face it off. And it's like, oh, we got another one, a banger. Subliners versus Mutineers. And yeah, for NYSL, I think they're probably the, the one team that people feel can take this whole thing if it's not Phaser Ultra. And Mutineers always feel like they're close, Joe, right? Like always maybe on the brink of being a top four team. They've just been on the outside looking in, but now with, you know, yeah, I think with Rocker going out early, a chance for him to make a run, especially the overall points on the year. But let's check out the Astro Social Sound Warden face are genuinely allergic to the lower bracket. I swear to God, clutch it up with the map five after allowing Ultra back into it. And yeah, they continue on through winners. They, they, they don't know what a loser's bracket is so far this year. No, they don't want to go down there. That's the gauntlet. That's the gauntlet for sure. But, uh, you know, the, the preparation paid off for Atlanta phase. Uh, it was a battle, though. It really was. I'm sure there's some things that Coach Christopher will go over with them, but they're looking good now in another top three position. Yeah, maybe to slow down Batman. We saw him a couple times. I mean, he made so many plays. You live or die by him, but sometimes it means yeah, he freaks me out with uh, some of his that. chows. But speaking of a PC, uh, this little tiny demon, we've got him up next. Interview <laughs> live with Jeff after the break. Welcome back to another Game Fuel Victory Spotlight. I know you guys want to hear from Too Easy for a BZ. So the first thing I got to ask, you know, we were talking a little bit, uh, kind of quote unquote backstage before this interview began. How were you feeling? Were you expecting that to be a 3-0? How were you feeling that you were not able to close that out on the third map? Uh, yeah, the third map was very frustrating for us. I mean, we we had like three streaks going into the last round of the control and we just couldn't close it out for some reason. You know, we'll go back, watch over that and see what we did wrong. But, you know, it, it was a good it was good to get the win in map five. Yeah, you brought it back around, you got the win and that's really what matters. So, you know, hey, next up, you are going to be facing off tomorrow versus the winner of our final matchup from today, which is the subliners versus the Mutineers. Uh, out of those two teams, do you have a preference for which team you'd rather face and why? 
Uh, not really, you know. It, I mean, it'd be fun to get in New York so we could get our revenge from the group play match, but either way, like, it doesn't really matter to, you know, we're going to go into the match with the same mindset and, you know, watch over some VODs and, you know, hopefully come out with a W. Well, you already got a little bit of revenge today, but, you know, hey, a little bit more couldn't hurt. So thank you so much for your time. Best of luck tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. All right, we're going to let it be Z go now. But folks watching at home, we have just one more series for the day. That's going to be the New York Subliners versus the Florida Mutineers. Don't go anywhere.